Next question is from Alyssa Day Book. Can you become dependent on supplements such as multivitamins, or is that a myth? It depends on the supplement. Multivitamins, no. Like if you're well, if, anything that your body naturally produces on its own, and then you take it uh, through a supplement, uh, you, absolutely. Yeah, you, a lot of that stuff you get what's called a negative feedback loop, right? So, like hormones, for example, if you take a hormone, your body may stop producing that hormone. If you drink caffeine uh, or take caffeine, be because of the way caffeine affects the body, it attaches to particular receptors. Your body then starts to downregulate those receptors and turn them off. This is why when you have caffeine the first time, you feel so much of it, and then later you need more and more of a higher dose to even get that effect. But other things, not really, like if you know, like vitamin C or B vitamins or you know, vitamin D stuff like that. No, your body utilizes it or doesn't. It doesn't really. You don't become dependent on them. Fish oils and, and, and natural components like that. And I would no, either. depend. I would want to know more what he means by dependent too, right? Are we talking about like dependent because you're addicted to it, or dependent because the body now stops producing it? Like we and you you're, need it, right? Yeah. So I, I'd want a little bit of clarification on what they mean by dependent, yeah. because to that, you know, just back to the testosterone point. Like I'm taking testosterone, so absolutely, my body's going to downregulate its natural. If I was already low, I'll be even lower, right? Because I'm now taking it, um, you know, exogenous. So right. for sure, um, but. It, you're not going to be a, a, a dependent as like addicted to it to where you have to take it. Yeah, but but the body does have a lot of these mechanisms. Like cholesterol is a great example. So you can eat cholesterol, uh, and what will happen is your liver will produce less to balance it out. So, and this it's a wonderful mechanism the human body has. A lot of animals don't do this, by the way. They old studies on cholesterol used rabbits. They would give them a high cholesterol diet, and the rabbits' cholesterol would go so high it would be scary. Doesn't really happen with humans, which is why they've removed cholesterol off that you know, nutrients of concern list. So a lot of compounds uh, don't do that and others do. It depends on what you're talking about. But like if something has a profound effect on you, if you take like uh, an herb, for example, like you take horny goat weed, that's a good one. And you're like, oh my God, my libido is boosted. I could feel, man, I could really feel this working. Mm -hmm. Keep taking it and you'll probably notice it has a diminishing effect. Now, all that being said, I still think that, um, I still think there's some things that we we don't fully know yet. And there's stuff that I know we can talk about that we've seen in our experience with somebody who gets most of their nutrients through whole foods versus supplementing on time just seem to do better. They do. So, and you know, there's some theories around that, but there's some things that I think that we don't still fully know why that, why that is that you just don't yeah, get some to delivery system there. Right. There's, to, there's yeah. the, for some reason, the way we were supposed to consume those nutrients is still superior than to how we figured it out through, well, through vitamins. Find, show me in nature where you would find pure vitamin C with nothing else. There's nothing else, right. no cofactors, no, no sugars, no fibers, no other compounds, right? Uh, there's, you don't find isolated nutrients in nature. It's always comes with a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, you're, you know, you take in iron from food, you'll absorb it differently. You're less likely to build, uh, you know, toxic levels of iron. Same thing with other nutrients and, and compounds. So that's a great, now yeah. here's the problem. Someone's like, oh, well, I'd rather have it from food, but then they don't eat good. So now yeah. you've gotten the worst of both worlds. Right, right. Well, I think it's, yeah, and I think it's different in today's age with all the fortification of vitamins and minerals that uh, make its way into almost everything. Uh uh, versus like back in the day where, you know, people would have rickets or, you know, from real deficiencies because it just wasn't available, you know, in the mm -hmm. diet and things. So I think back then it mattered a lot more uh, in terms of like getting certain vit vitamins and nutrients. But today we, they pretty much stuff it in most foods. That's why that's why salt has iodine. You ever notice that? Just yeah. regular old table spot salt. Yeah. They literally made it like a rule that yeah. you had to add it in the in the salt because people had iodine deficiencies. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it I think there's tremendous value in everybody listening, doing blood work and getting a full panel and seeing that's where the you, best. where you're at. That's the best. And and because and and do that a couple times so you get a you know and spread it out so you can get kind of an idea of what you're more than likely there'll be some consistent things that you'll see there. For example, with mine, I'm, I'm consistently low on vitamin D. I mean, yes, if I get more sun exposure and stuff like that, it seems to be a little bit better. But historically, I almost always test low, so I'm all consistently Which is supplementing. Even more that. important these days, right? To, to look at, dude, vitamin that's a D great, especially. That's a great example. I take ten, five to ten thousand IU's of vitamin D, and I've been doing it for years, and my levels are always in the middle. 
Yep. So like you would think, oh, you're going to take too much. But I test regularly. So it's like, I apparently I need to take yeah. that much vitamin D. I know people that they took vitamin D, got tested. Oh, it got too high. Yeah. So, so you need to know because if you don't well, know, right. you could be doing some Even problems. supplement. I mean, I just noticed from coaching and being out in the sun over the past few months, my elevated mood and just like energy and everything is yeah. insanely better. Yeah. So just getting outside as much as you can is big, big factor too. 